Hello, it's Ama, and I am back with a video that I think is um, very, 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 very requested from people, and that is, um, what do you do when no contact is not an option, okay? You have children with the narc, um, you work for a narc boss like me, what do you do when no contact is an, an option? And so today I'm going to be talking about the gray rock method and how to starve a narcissist. So come along with me on this journey of healing and let's talk about this together. Okay, so I really have gotten a couple of questions in the comment section that uh, often asks me, how do you basically go no contact if you can't go no contact like how do you minimize your contact with the narcissist if going no contact is uh not an option such as if you have children with a narcissist or in my case if you work for a narcissist so um i want to start off by saying first and foremost i, I want to say this in all my videos that i am just sharing my experience i'm not a doctor um but i'm sharing what has worked for me okay and so um i am talking about the gray rock method uh i do not share children with the narcissist um, I share my two children with my ex-husband who was not a narcissist and so I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about uh, gray rock and how it works. So the gray rock method sounds just like it is. It's gray rock which basically means you want to become as bland, boring, unappealing um, as a gray rock, right? Uh, there's nothing fascinating about a gray rock. And what we know about narcissists is that narcissists are attracted to the shiny new toy, right? Narcissists are attracted to um, almost like, you know, we speak about the magnetism oftentimes between uh, a codependent and a narcissist. And a narcissist, they, get, they tend to get bored easily. And so the narc is always looking for the next thrill, the excitement, things of that nature. And so when going gray rock, gray rock is actually a method that is used when you have to interact with a narcissist, sociopath, psychopath, because its intention is to have that person lose attraction to you right? And they're going to think that it's their own idea, right? You don't, this is the number one thing. Let me say first and foremost, if and when you decide to do the gray rock method on a narcissist, do not tell the narcissist that you're doing gray rock on them, right? You, it comes up in an argument. Well, and that's why when you give me the next time you give me the silent treatment, I'm just going to gray rock you. No, because the narcissist, we've spoken about this a lot. Narcissists, sociopaths, psychopaths, uh, borderline personalities, they are master manipulators of emotions. And so you don't need to show your hand. You don't need to show your cards. Um, you just begin to do gray rock. And you might need to practice it for a while because there are a few things that you need to be aware of. So first off, you do not feed the narcissist energy right? This is where I'm talking about how to starve the narcissist. You do not feed them any energy. When you have to interact with them, um, you're very bland and emotionless. So the narc comes in, hey, you know, he's been out till two o'clock in the morning and he comes home. He's expecting to feed off of your negative energy, right? He comes in, he's sauntering around. You're reading your magazine if you're still awake. You're reading... You know, hey, what are you still doing up? Just finishing up some work. No emotion. Right? When the narc tries to rope you into some sort of an argument, um, show no emotion. Well, you know, you, you've cooked the same thing for the past two weeks, and I'd really like to have some variety. You know, Tim's wife, she cooks something different every day. Oh. That's pretty nice. You continue doing what you're doing. 
no emotion. Now I'm going to tell you, it is going to be very difficult because like we talked about before, the narcissist is an emotional manipulator and so they know how to trigger you and they know what to, 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 to pull on, what heartstring, what emotion to kind of evoke certain reactions out of you and it really takes mental toughness to not go there with the narcissist. It really does. So let me give you myself for example. I started doing gray rock with my narcissist and I'm not going to lie to you. I did not know it was gray rock because I did not know I was dealing with a narcissist. What I knew was I grew up with a father who's an alcoholic and we know that parents with addictions tend to behave like narcissists, right? So my father was good with the silent treatment. My father was great with, you know, trying to emotionally manipulate the people in the house and pouncing on my mother and trying to, to emotionally and mentally abuse her. And so I started to gray rock my narcissist, not even knowing that I was consciously gray rocking him. So what did that look like? I remember my narcissist tried to triangulate me with another woman from his website, right? One of his Facebook friends from his business that he was running. And he came to my house and he was like, yeah, you know, this woman, she 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 inboxed me and she's just like I, I need some of your energy i just think that you're so you know magnetic and 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 alluring and i just want to spend some time with you just to, just to get some of that energy now i knew he was trying to triangulate me i didn't know the term triangulation at the time but i knew that he was trying to make me jealous with this other woman and gray rock i simply said Hmm. that's interesting that wasn't enough he kept going well, well what do you mean what, what, what how, how how is that interesting what, what, what I said well it's not something I would do but to each his own right now I could tell he really because the triangulation is not working he's well you know maybe you she Maybe some women just want to, maybe this is not how she is with other men, but with me, you know, she just wants to, to, to do this with me because she sees value in what I'm saying and things like that. And again, I said, hmm, it's interesting. But to me, it's slightly desperate. Not something I would do. And I walked out of the room and I kept doing my laundry. The narc couldn't take it. The narc couldn't take it. He's now I will say that I was a little bit of a turd in that example. And really and truly, you don't even have to do that much. I could have cut it off with that's interesting. Okay. Right. But I knew that he just wanted some sort of validation from me. He just wanted me to get angry. So, you know, I hit him with the well, I think that's slightly desperate, but to each his own. And then I just kind of left the room and I did not allow him to go back to that conversation. I left the room, kept doing what I was doing. Right. Gray rock. I'll give you another example of when I gray rocked uh, my narcissist. He came to my house. And the narcissist, and I, I wanted to tell you guys the story. The narcissist was actually trying to move into my house. He was trying to set me up, right? And at first I didn't notice it until I was talking to one of my girlfriends. And this is why they try to isolate you from your friends. Because sometimes when you're in the fog of narcissistic abuse, you don't see things clearly. So I've been telling my, one of my girlfriends about some of our conversations. And she said, Ama, right? Be careful, he's trying to live up in your house. And I was like, no, that's not how he is. He's so independent, he runs his own little business, he's got a great job, he this, he's that. And she said, just watch out. So the narcissist tells me one day that if his landlord raised his rent, he was going to move to another state. So I was like, listen, whatever right that we will cross that bridge when we get there so once I my divorce was final and I moved back into my home and I started to decorate it and, it and I have to admit I love my home right it's just quaint and cozy it's sanctuary it's right I just so I noticed he came to my house and he's like well it happened I, I, I told you it would and I'm like 
what? What happened? Uh, well, my landlord raised my rent. And like I said, if he raised my rent, I'm leaving. Right? So I said, well, if you, I said, if you don't mind me asking, how much did he raise it? You know, how much, how much did he, how much did he raise it by? He's like, he raised it by a hundred dollars. Now, two things. One, he's living in an apartment in a very expensive neighborhood where he's living there under market value. His landlord had been good to him for several years. The fact that a landlord needs to raise their rent by a hundred dollars, a hundred, and mind you, what he would have ended up paying for that apartment would still be below market value, right? So he's telling me, oh, that's it. You know, I said I was going to leave. Gray rock. I, said, I didn't even, I didn't say anything. I just gray rocked it. He looks at me. What? I said, what? He goes, what? Just say it. Just what? Say it. Well, I have nothing to say. I mean, you've got to do what's best for your life. No emotion. All right, all right, all right. You know what? I, I, there's some things that I need to do at my house. I, 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 I guess I'll see you later. I said, okay. Take care. Have a good day. Gray Rock. That's what Gray Rock is. It is responding in a way that does not feed the narcissist. We speak all the time about how the narcissist needs your energy in order to function. And when they don't have it, they will seek out a new source. And I told you before, I could tell when my narcissist started to look for a new source because he realized like I just wasn't giving him the same source of energy anymore. And he actually went into power save to reserve his energy for his new host or his new supply. Right. So what I want to say about doing the gray rock method with children is that you have to know what's best for your situation. Right. There are times where gray rock is better than no contact. There are times where no contact is better than gray rock. You have to know the level of your narcissist and you have to first. Um, the first priority is the safety of your children. Right. And there are other YouTubers who have done, you know, divorcing a narcissist or sharing custody with a narcissist or going through um, family court with a narcissist and things of that nature. I don't have that experience. But what I can tell you, my experience um, is of a child who lived in a home with an alcoholic father who had very, very, very clear traits of a narcissist. And what I could tell you is that for years. I, I, I was very, I, once I became an adult, I was very angry with my mother because I felt that first priority as a parent is to protect your children and protecting your children shows strength. Why is it important to protect your children from this dysfunctional and abusive behavior? Because look at what we create, right? Raising my hand, codependent. My sister is the same way, right? And, and your children are watching, your children are seeing, your children are going through the fact that they're not being validated either, right? The, you're not getting validation as the narcissistic um, the partner of a narcissist, your children aren't getting validated. Um, you're going through the emotional, psychological, and sometimes physical abuse of a narcissist. Your children also are going through the emotional, uh, psychological, and sometimes physical abuse of a narcissist. And so while I may not have experience as a person raising a child with a narcissist, I definitely have experience as a child who grew up with a codependent mother and an alcoholic father with uh, severe traits of narcissism. And what I will tell you is you have to be that strength for your children. 
You have to be that strength for your children. Because the things that we experience in our childhood, you, you can suppress it for a while, but it's going to come up in your adult life and it's going to erupt and it, it, it manifests in the relationships that we keep or the relationships that we can't keep or, and maintain. So it, it, it shows up and oftentimes we think to ourselves, you know, it's best for a child to have two parents and what I will say is again I'm just talking about what I would do in my case and what I've lived through I'm not giving you any sort of medical or therapeutic advice but what I will say is that it is better for a child to have one healthy vibrant loving, compassionate parent than to live in a two-parent home where their other parent is terrorizing the entire household. Where there's a constant level of fear. There's a constant level of walking on eggshells. There's a constant level of confusion. There's a constant level of yelling and screaming and arguments and silent treatments, right? And they are being affected by it. They are. So what I will say is, I'm not telling you what to do, but what I would say is, if possible, if you have children and you share children with a narcissist and you can get your children into child therapy, where maybe it's just play therapy and you can discuss it with a therapist, right? And you and a therapist can work out a plan of action to go uh, gray rock and still do things legally in accordance with the state that you live in. Because you never want to do things illegal with the narcissist. They'll exploit it, take advantage of it, and you could lose custody of your children. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm saying sit down with a professional that can help you to kind of strategize. Or maybe even your own therapist that can help you strategize how to deal with uh, an abusive situation so that you and your children can get away from it as safely as possible and you can still um, s do things legally, right? You never want to pick your children up and take off and do no, you don't want to do that. So I would say um, you might want to look into that when dealing with uh, minors, uh, and a narcissist okay and so I hope this video was helpful I really did it because so many people had questions about um, what if no contact is an option and if no contact is an option meaning you do not have to communicate with the narcissist don't run for your life but if you do there are tips and strategies um, there are books you can read on gray rock the gray rock method um, parenting with uh, you know co-parenting with someone with narcissism or personality some sort of personality disorder cluster B personality disorder so um, as always thank you for taking this walk with me and if you also like me have a narcissistic boss I'm going to be doing a video on um, how to deal with a boss, right? And doing gray rock basically with a boss um, or some or co-worker, people that you work with. So again, I want to tell you thank you so much for taking this walk with me. Please do three things at this time. Like this video if you like it and it has resonated with you. Um, subscribe hit the subscribe button so that you can keep up with what i'm doing and also comment below you know many of the videos i do come from questions from you right so please keep the questions coming and the comments coming i see it as encouragement and i tell you thank you so much for taking the time to watch and comment right so until next time take care